Welcome back college football fans to another NCAA 14 revamp video. Today I'm going to be going over which emulator I'm using on the PC to play this NCAA revamped. And I've got a lot of questions on which version I'm using. So I'm going to pull up my emulator here today and show you guys that off just in a quick video. So here's the version I'm using, the .0.16. And as you can see, this is a couple years old and I've yet to update it. And what you can actually do is download the older versions. I'll link it in the description where you can download this PS3 emulator. But from what I found on the internet and watching some people's videos, this version works best with running the NCAA 14. But yeah, this is the version. Just thought I'd do a quick update video on that. Show you guys what I was doing. And you can see here, this is the roster, the blues one. So we're gonna open this up and I'll just show you guys how it works. There haven't been any updates so far since the version 21 came out, but I'll keep you guys posted on that if they come out with another update and if I find a version that works better. So here's a website I came across for downloading older versions of this PS3 emulator. It's called up to down And as you can see, they have quite a few of the older versions on here. So if you can find one of these older versions that you think will work better, it's, it's kind of just to test your luck and try and find one that works for you and your system. Because that's the thing, with this being a mod, it doesn't have full support, and it makes it a little bit harder to, to make it work on everyone's system. Now, I know this is just for PC. I don't have any experience on the console, so I'm not exactly sure how those work. But yeah, as you can see, here's all these old versions. You can go through and download them. Like right here would be the download link. But yeah, go ahead, try these out. It might take you a little bit of time to get set up. But as I showed you guys that one that works best for me, maybe try that one. I know that's good on PC. Another big problem I've seen for people trying to play this college football revamped is when they load up their revamped or their emulator, they get a screen that says could not connect to the PlayStation Network. And this normally is caused because you downloaded the digital copy and not the disc copy. The disc copy is what you want. It might not make sense, but this is definitely the one you want to download. And you want to make sure too, if you actually own the disc and you scan it up to your computer with like the files, you got to make sure that's the same or however you're getting your disc uploaded to your computer, you want to make sure it's a disc copy and not a digital copy. And I, I had to do this a couple times where I re-downloaded my disc to make sure it wasn't, wasn't the digital copy. But yeah, that's how to fix if you're getting that could not connect to the PlayStation Network showing up when you launch the, the game. So let me know if you guys have any more questions on this. I'm not quite an expert on how to fix this. These are just problems that I ran into personally and how I fixed them. But yeah, I'll put them download links below and keep it posted right here for everything college football revamped as well as the new college football game coming out this year, hopefully. With that out of the way, I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.